Hello, I'm Starlight Flux. And I'm Tip Top, back again. And, well, Brendan isn't here at the moment because we basically got this... Um, we were going to watch episodes 14 and 15 at the same time, but we were running a little short of time and he had to get home. Yeah, so, running uh, in a, yeah, because he lives in a completely different town to me now. Um, so basically, yeah, we only had time to watch one last night, and this is probably going to go out on a later time anyway. So, um, but Dan's down um, for a bit, so I was able to. Look, we yeah, we can still get two people on the recording. Yeah, so all the stuff aside, so, so yeah, we just got done watching episode fifteen. Uh, what was it called? A heartwarming. Oh, uh, it was another Christmas. We, episode. We had a Christmas episode in the middle the of a baking. From a heat wave in the UK. I, think I know we people are going on about that, but I think you know, whole, I think we don't have aircon in the UK because we don't often get heat waves. I think the whole world is having a heat wave at the moment. Yes, but we're you, not. Yeah, we don't have air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So it, back again, on track to the. Christmas it it stuff. is a bit weird having a Christmas episode in the middle of summer. In the middle of summer, they keep on doing this for some reason. Yeah, I had no idea why. Um, Maybe it's for the Australian fans. Yeah, yeah, but still, that. Christmas Christmas is in December, whether you're here or Australia. So, mm, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we just got watching that. Um, I've got to say, I didn't see that ending coming. I I was convinced. I mean, I was convinced it was going to be someone entirely separate from the student six. I thought, yeah. you know, that's going to be the the classic thing to do. That well, none of the none of the actual suspects actually did it. Well, yeah. I mean, that was, yeah. I mean, they subverted the trope there. They definitely did. Cause definitely. I, I did not. I, but I'm still interested to find out how they knew about it. They pro I'm going to probably have to go back and have another look to see how they did it because I. Well, maybe they just overheard him say it. No, I mean how they they already knew. Hmm. Oh, mind you, yeah, it could have been something like that. But yeah. I'll, 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 maybe I'll, they just said we already know because they heard everything he said. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But um, no, that. That, that was definitely a good subversion of the trope, because, you know, well, we've yeah. gotten that used to it being none of the suspects. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, yeah. You was... always expect it to be some kind of twist, and then I suppose yeah. it was an anti-twist, really, because it, it was always, one of them. Yeah. As always, though, nice to get another uh, Student 6-centric episode. They're, you know, they're really starting to grow on me. I characters. actually do like them as a character. I mean, as I say it before... I, I, mean, I, mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, one or two do fit... Uh, you know, the odd stereotype or two. I mean, yeah, as, as Celis being the bookworm, but that... Well, actually, is... I kind of like that, because... Yeah. It, it, the trouble is, is, as I've said before, with Fluttershy just being a shy character, and that being a only defining characteristic, yeah. I could see Osiris slowly not getting... In getting more, yeah, more definitely out, you know, yeah. extroverted. Anyway, we, we touched on this last time, so... Well, yeah, but the, the point that it still stands, you know, but, but I think it... I like the way they're going with the... Uh, the students. Yeah. That's the point I'm going. I like the fact that they're actually. I think they took a lot of the lessons from developing this main six and actually putting it towards the student six and using the main six as sort of. Yeah, like, I mean, not not necessarily one character being in direct parallel with another. Yeah, well, or, yeah, I know, but they're still taking the lessons from the characters and the yeah, you know, the, and the development they've had to do before with the main six. So. Yeah, I mean, so, some of them are going off on separate personalities, you know, compared to the main six. You know, I'm not so much talking about the personalities. I'm talking about the lessons. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. The, you know, and the personalities they've actually they've actually thought about what works with the main six personalities and what doesn't work and actually put it towards yeah. the main six, which is why I can see them doing it that way. That kind of makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but I mean, I, th I thought it was, I mean, like I say, I didn't expect such a turnaround from Gallus. I mean, he's been, you know, the kind of the kind of snarky cynic pretty much the entire season so far. Yeah. You know, for him to suddenly open up and be that humble, it's not something that I think we were expecting. No, I mean, I find it strange that he, he doesn't have a family then. So yeah, I mean that—that that is, I've got to admit, I, I did find that quite surprising. Yeah, and Gabby being Gilbert. Well, uh, I don't know if that's necessarily canon because they did specify that Grandpa Gruff wasn't actually their grandfather, so it might just be uh, uh, any any grouping. It could be. I don't know, but it. I, I forget. Did Gabby say that she was? No, I don't think Gabby said no, she was she related didn't. to Gilbert. No, she didn't. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense in a way because given that Gallus is the only. Like colourful Griffin. Yeah, that's actually a good point. You know, all the others are kind of just brown and grey. Gallus is the only one who's brightly coloured. I guess it makes sense that he's not from the same family. Well, yeah, but there's probably doing that for marketing purposes. No, I don't know. You know, 
the full toys and yeah. all of that. But uh, no, it was nice to get a bit of background on all of them. I mean, you know, I mean, well, good. I mean, it was always fun to see Sandbar being a bit more cheerful. You know, I mean, S Silverstream is still my favourite of the student six, just because of. Mm. As I say, I think Slightly, that, that, like I say, I, I I know you haven't seen Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but she's got a real Star Butterfly vibe to her, I thought. Uh, yeah, I have to admit, I'm more of a fan. I, yeah. I am more a fan of Osiris, but then it's yeah. because of, I, I, I tell you what, I did like that scene with the changelings. Like, yeah, interpreting that, the rules. Misinterpreting everything. Which yeah. kind of goes to show that rules can be easily misinterpreted. Yeah, that's what I mean. I really, yeah. enjoyed, I really enjoyed how the, how the student six played off each other in this. <laughs> Smolder edgy to the very end. Oh, God. The, the whole... Uh, the, the, and the fact that their stories are all about over... I mean, like what they well, consume. not all of them. Well, no, I mean, uh, no, I'm talking about, the, you know, the, you know, the smolder, the whole, yeah. the, the thing with the story. The depressing about, ending is a good thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's like ed Edge, what 2000% Edge? <laughs> Three Edgy Five Me. <laughs> but so, anyway, if, yeah, I mean, I think, I think the, the biggest honest. advantage, well, how would we rate this episode then? Um, I mean, it, I think it was a really, I think it was a really good episode. I mean, it was definitely, it was very, it was very emotional. I thought, you know, it was, it was, yeah, it was very intriguing. It was, it was a good bit of, it was a good bit of world building, you know, to me, which is always nice to see. Yeah, I mean, like we had character building before, and now we've got world building as well, which. Yeah, I say, I would give it a, well, as, just for the twist, I would actually give it an eight. I think I would go along the same lines. I would have, I mean, you know, I was going to give it maybe a, a six or a seven as yeah. it was, which was pretty good, but. With you know, with that brilliant subversion of the Who Done It trope at the end, then yeah, I, I would I would give it an eight also. I'd say it was about on par with the last episode. Yeah, maybe I would agree with that. maybe slightly more intriguing actually. Uh, you know, because I mean, last episode was you know a tad more predictable given it had Discord in it. Yeah, which is actually kind of ironic because you're supposed to be a lot of chaos. yeah, a lot of chaos. But uh, so let's just give it. A, uh, well, I'm going to give it eight point five then in that case. I, I think I'll stick with an eight, but uh, you know, I I do like it. I think I think that was a good. Uh, it's it's good as a, it's very good as a standalone. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, even if it's in the wrong half of the year. <laughs> Yeah, but, so, I, I, I don't understand, Hasbro, why the hell do you do that? I don't it it know. makes no sense for you to do it. Why don't you do it at the end of the season when it's closer to flipping, like, winter? It would make a lot more sense, yeah. but... Uh, anyway, I think, uh, I think we said pretty much all we can. It was a good episode. That that plot twist was definitely the uh, definitely the highlight. Yeah. Um, um, along, uh, along with carols, 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 carols. And Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Uh, uh, anyway, so if you guys haven't uh, been down to the description already, we'll put a link down there to our full reaction to the episode. Yeah. Um, and if you're still watching, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, we will see you all in the... Well, yeah. he, he'll probably see you in the well, next yeah, episode. Well, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. But yeah, from all of us here at Dark Matter Marshmallows, we'll see you in the next episode.